You can't choose family, you can choose only the best for yourself. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nufar Morali, I'm a 22 year old transgender woman from Tel Aviv, Israel and I make mostly transgender related content here on my YouTube channel. If that's something that's interesting to you, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and let's get right into today's video. Today I wanted to share my story of how I got HRT, Hormone Replacement Therapy and if you didn't know, Hormone Replacement Therapy or HRT is a treatment that often trans women or trans men take to identify better with their desired gender so that means that I assigned male at birth and I transitioned to become the female that I am today so in order to achieve my desired results from my own transition I wanted to get HRT which means I'll get on estrogen, the female hormone and on puberty blockers which they are preventing from the male pattern growth in the body I guess like going through male puberty stopping the testosterone essentially so many trans women and trans men are going through the same treatment the HRT including myself I really wanted that from very young age so today I'll share my experience of how I got on HRT at age 17 as a minor here in Israel without my father's signature so as we all know you do need a signature and acceptance of both of your parents to start HRT at an age that's below 18 I think in most countries in the world so here in Israel at least you do need the two parents signature or your apotropus so in my case my dad didn't support me and until today we're not speaking I'm totally okay with that I already came to mind that my father and I wouldn't work out but that's not today topic of the video so also I want to shed a little light on this topic you know I think it's a very gray area not very spoken too much that one parent supports you as a trans child and one parent doesn't so I think it should be spoken more and I hope I could help and definitely to show you that even if you're not from Israel and not in my exact situation maybe your other parent like your dad supports you and your mother doesn't and maybe you're from another country probably because most of my audience are from out of Israel because I do make English content and not in Hebrew the spoken language here in Israel so I do want to show you that it's definitely possible to get on HRT and to get what you want with your transition even as a minor because I did it I lived that and yes it wasn't easy but it was definitely possible it did took me almost two years of going through hell to get to the point where I started HRT as a minor still but eventually it happened so I want to encourage you to go out never give up and to fight for your rights and for what you know is right for you and to start your transition as soon as possible you know because the sooner the better I'm sorry for the wind because I'm here outside as you can see but yeah so let's just get right into the story so it all started when I was 15 I came out of the closet to my mom and never have I lived with my dad my father's and I relationship was never good I must say so that's why I also don't regret like cutting him totally off when I transition you know he cut me off but doesn't matter so I always lived only with my mom my parents are separated from when I was a little kid so I never had a chance to really live with my dad so when I told my mom there's also another video where I tell how I came out to my mom and to my friends so that's video is right here 
So after I told my mom I wanted to start HRT as soon as possible, I told her like few months after I knew I was transgender. Firstly, I told my best friend I just wanted to be sure with myself and like share with him my thoughts. And then I told my mom like not too long after, like four months I'd say. My father and I still talked a little bit, but it wasn't really a good connection. So then after I told my mom I wanted to start hormones, so we went to the gender clinic here in Tel Aviv in Israel. We talked to them and they told us that we will have to have my father's signature as well because he's my apotropus as well so my mother and i we knew that he's not going to sign and then i had to tell him that i'm trans so he's going to be very mad because we already knew that my father won't accept that because he's a very old mind man like religious old person that's not really going to accept something that is different from what he believes in so that caused me a lot of suffer when i told him he cursed me he told me that i should burn in hell he told me that i'm gay that i'm tranny all these horrible curse words that i can't even put here online and tell you then i realized that i lost my dad forever and it was totally fine by me because as i said we hadn't have any good connections before but the only thing that sucks to me was that i won't be able to get hormones until i was 18 and bear that in mind that at that time i was in my late 15 starting of my 16 so i had like two years plus until i'll be 18 and i couldn't see myself living with this big dysphoria knowing that my body is going through male puberty and not being able to stop it even though i know it's what i need and what my life will look like like i am going to live as a woman until the last of my days on this earth so that's very upsetting and i knew i had to do something about it and to fight for my rights to get hormones as soon as possible because I just couldn't wait until I'll be 18. Luckily, my mom was very supportive of me and if you have one parent that's supportive of you and is willing to go with you until the end in the fire and in the water, that's going to be very helpful because my mom really fought for me and with me on this journey. We were shooting to all directions Firstly, as we realized that it's not going to be possible without my father's signature as well, we knew that we had to go to the court so that the judge will make it possible just this time. So for going to the court, we needed to prove that I'm really trans. So I went through a few sessions with psychologists and psychiatrists. I hope that's how you say that, but you got the point. I had to go to sessions with them to really prove that I am trans and that I am trapped in the body that's with the gender that's not mine. You got the point. But that's what I had to prove to them. And then with the letter of the psychiatrists, psychiatrists, I went to this social worker here in my country, like my own social worker, and I told her all the situation and then she started to bring lawyers and stuff that could help me to go in front of the judge in the court and tell him all my situation. So to get all those people and after I had all the appointments with the specialists, to really affirm that I am trans. Finally, after a year and a few months, we got to the court after all of the suffer. It was the hardest year in my life. So finally, I got to the court. I really poured my heart to the judge. I really cried. I knew that I really need to touch in the judge's heart because, you know, going to the judge 
of your country they can bring you any judge you know maybe it's even a judge that's not supportive of trans people so no matter what you say he won't approve you to hrt and you'll just have to wait so i was so anxious about this moment what if my judge wouldn't even like trans people or wouldn't even support us so he wouldn't anyways listen to me and approve me for hrt so i knew that i had to bring my best self to the court and i really did i pulled my heart out and then i got the message i think like a week later that i got approved for hrt without my father's signature i literally cried i was so happy that i won my father's evilness because really it is so evil to stop your child from being their own true and authentic self even if you don't get along and even if you don't believe in what they're believing in it's really evilness to do such a bad thing to your child honestly i'm just so happy that i won in the court so it opened the door for more trans kids here in israel in the same situation as i was that one of their parents is not supportive and one is supportive so they could get hrt and hopefully it will also help to trans kids that both of their parents is not supportive of them i really hope it helped them too and i really want to shed that light here on youtube with my audience to show you and i know there is some trans kids out there who watch me also so if you feel helpless and if your parents doesn't support you or one of them or the both of them even and you don't know how to start hrt and you know that you need this right now i feel you i know what it feels like i've been there so trust me no matter where you are from in the world even if you're not in israel and trust me israel is not the easiest country when it comes to trans people maybe in the middle east it's like a really good country for trans people but in the world as a whole it's not the most advanced country when it comes to trans people so if i managed to get an hrt here in israel while i was a minor without one of my parents signature i'm totally sure that it's more than possible in other countries in other situations if you really want it enough and i want to show you that it's totally possible and to all the trans youth here who watch this video and feel helpless i want to send you all my love and light and really encourage you to go with your truth don't wait until you become 18 and you could get hrt without your parents really fight for yourself because it will pay off in the future when you'll get your hrt results sooner and you'll feel more complete with your gender instead of just waiting for years until you'll be at that age where you can get this and then you'll just be desperate for all those years and you won't feel complete with yourself so definitely go out there fight shoot to all directions like me and my mom did and even if you're alone and none of your parents is supportive really shoot to all the directions until someone will hear you and when you will get to this point where you stand in the court in front of the judge know that you did something well and people can hear you and see you and hopefully understand you enough to help you with this sticky situation as I was in and I was so fortunate to really be heard and seen with all my suffer so I could really get the treatment that I needed to feel whole and complete so that's my story of how I got my HRT at 17 without my father's signature one of my parents signature and yeah I really want in this lifetime as a whole to help kids to also achieve their dreams when it comes to transitioning and generally everything i really hope and i will do my best so the laws here in israel will change to the better for us trans people and for trans kids as well to help them to get hormones easier if their parents is not supportive you know 
you can choose family but you can't choose the best for yourself wow that was a very smart sentence i just made it up now but yeah you can't choose family you can choose only the best for yourself so with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video and educated and i hope that the people who is in the same situation as i was took this little spot of light to help them to fight for themselves and never give up and i love you guys so much i also wanted to mention that i opened a short channel it's also here in my description and also here so i upload there every day at 4 p.m gmt time israel time i upload a new short trans related short so it's a very fun channel and yeah subscribe to it subscribe to my main channel here and check out my socials if you have any private question regarding how to navigate in this sticky situation or anything else that's related to transition or in life generally you can always hit me up on my video and i can make with you a video call or to dedicate a private video that's answering your problem just for you and i love you guys so much have a great week a great evening and great night bye guys love you